You know, a lot of times when we talk about Jannah, one of the issues that we have is that we really don't work for it. And working for it is actually the last thing that you should be doing. The first thing that you should be doing is wanting it. And if I really asked you, do you really want Jannah? Obviously everyone wants Jannah, but how bad do you want it? And SubhanAllah, sometimes wanting it is enough to take you to the next level. Rasulullah once, for example, was telling the Sahaba about a group an elite group on the Day of Judgment who will enter Jannah without any form of adab, without any form of hisab. No accountability, no questions asked, no punishment whatsoever. And one of the companions that was sitting there by the name of Ukasha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he immediately jumped up and he said, Ya Rasulullah, do Allah and akuna minhum. O Messenger of Allah, make dua that I'm one of them. So Rasulullah said to him, Anta minhum. You are one of them. Then another Sahabi said, oh wait, so this is what it's all about, right? So another Sahabi jumped up and he said, Ya Rasulullah, me too. He said, Sabaqaqa biha ukasha. Ukasha beat you to it. So sometimes just wanting Jannah, really thinking about it, how much do you want Jannah? How much do you want the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the first step, we're going to go through a st three step program inshallah to attain Jannah. It's called want, ask, act. Want, ask, act. You want it and then you ask for it. Now someone might say, well, what, is, what good does it mean to ask for it? You know, what's that gonna do? There's a very beautiful hadith and if there is one thing I want you to apply from this video, it's this one inshallah. There is one very beautiful hadith which is narrated in Sunan al-Tirmidhi and also in Muslim Imam Ahmed with an authentic chain from Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sa'alallahu al-jannah thalatha marrat Whoever asks Allah for jannah three times not only does Allah answer the dua, Allah, Rasulullah says, Jannah actually talks. Jannah speaks. Qalat al Jannah, Allahumma adkhilhu al Jannah. Jannah itself makes dua to Allah. O oh Allah, enter him into paradise. And the Prophet said, Waman sa'al Allah, and whoever asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protection from hellfire, al-'idqa min al-nar, wa fi riwaya, ijara min al-nar, to be protected from hellfire, to be, to be guarded from hellfire. Hellfire makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma ajirhu min al-nar. Oh Allah, protect him from the fire. SubhanAllah, asking three times, if you can just incorporate this one thing in your life, if you want Jannah, why don't you just say so? Allahumma adkhilni al-Jannah al-Firdaus. Because the Prophet said, don't just ask for Jannah, ask for the highest level, which is in his companionship, inshaAllah, in the highest level of paradise with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So you make dua three times. Look how easy it is. Allahumma adkhilni al-Jannah al-Firdaus. Allahumma adkhilni al-Jannah al-Firdaus. Allahumma adkhilni al-Jannah al-Firdaus. Oh Allah, grant me paradise. You ask it three times. If you just did that, paradise just made dua for you. And do the same for hellfire, and hellfire will make dua for you to not enter it, inshaAllah. And the last thing, so we had want, ask, act. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kulla ummati yadkhuluna al-Jannah illa man aba. Every single person will enter paradise except for the one who refuses. Can you imagine that? Everyone will enter paradise except for the one who refuses. SubhanAllah. So Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, how could we possibly refuse Jannah? The Prophet said, by obeying him and following his sunnah, you are on the path to Jannah. By disobeying the Prophet and neglecting his sunnah, you are refusing to enter Jannah. Because Allah gave you the path, Allah gave you the guide. You don't have to sit there and wonder, man, how do I get there? What stock do I invest in? How do I do this? Where I do, you know, how do I do that? Every single uh, venture that you take, business venture in this life has a risk to it. Jannah has no risk. You follow the Prophet you're in. It's fitra to go home. You're from there anyway. You're in. So three things, just three steps again. Repeat them with me inshaAllah ta'ala. Want it, ask for it, act for it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a jannah al-firdaus and to protect us from the hellfire. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.